everyone, it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're talking about a lot of stuff. Diagonals, interior angles, and exterior angles. I decided to do them all together because they are very well related. Okay, let's start with the first topic, diagonals. Hey, diagonals, you might remember, has to do with anything that's a polygon, right? It has many sides, so we're talking about something that's bigger than a triangle, more sides than a triangle, so quadrilaterals. Po pentagons, hexagons, okay. So diagonals will connect uh, two uh, non-adjacent vertices, meaning here the, the adjacent vertices are the A and the C. Adjacent means the ones that are next to it. We're talking about a diagonal is any segment that connects the non-adjacent vertices. So here from point D, B is a non-adjacent vertice. We've drawn a segment that is a diagonal. So here's another example. Here we have a pentagon. If I asked you how many diagonals can be drawn from point A, what would you say? Well, remember, diagonals connects is a segment that connects the non-adjacent vertices. So we couldn't go to B, but we could go to C. We could go to D, and that would be it. So a pentagon has five sides, but it has two diagonals. And in fact, we think about it, any polygon, no matter how many sides it has, let's say we have a, a, a hexagon, you're never going to be able to use one of the points, because that's the point you're working on, plus the one on either side. So we're always going to be subtracting three to find how many diagonals you have. So this is the diagonals, diag, uh, I can't spell diagonals, <laughs> messy, sorry. And this is the number of sides. So it's always going to be three. So if I had six, it'd be three. If I had seven, there would be four diagonals given from any one uh, vertice. So how could I use diagonals to help me find out the measurement of the interior angles of my polygon? So what I mean by the interior angles is the measurement of the angle at each vertice. How do I know? Well, if we use diagonals, remember, this was a pentagon. It had two diagonals, which means it divided my, pe my pentagon into three triangles, right? And we know that the total number of degrees in a triangle is 180 degrees, right? All triangles, the degrees will add up to 180. So if we have three triangles, we're going to do 3 times 180, and that will give us the total number of degrees in my pentagon. So 8 times 3 is 24, 3 times 1 is 3, and 2 is 5. So that means it's going to be 540 total degrees. But that didn't answer my question. I want to know how much each angle is. Well, if the total number of degrees is 540, now I'm going to divide by how many angles I have. In a pentagon, I'm going to have five angles. So I'm going to take my 540 degrees and divide it by five, which is the number of angles that I have. And let's see, five goes into five one time, and then five goes into 40 eight times, which means that each angle is going to have a degree of 108. So that's going to be 108. This one's going to be 108. This one's 108. We can already see that it was an obtuse angle. This is 108, and this is 108. So again, diagonals help us divide up our polygon. Then we take find the number of triangles it forms. We multiply that, that number of triangles times 180 degrees. That gives us the total amount of degrees. We take the total amount and divide it by the vertices. So this time we have a hexagon, right? Six sides. How many degrees is each interior angle? Meaning right here. Okay, that's one of them. Well, remember, we're going to use diagonals to help us. So we're going to draw the number of diagonals from one vertice. So let's do A. We're going to have one here, one there, and one there, which is going to give us how many triangles? We've got one, two, three, and four. 
Okay, we know that every triangle has 180 degrees, so let's take our 180 degrees and multiply it times 4 to find the total number of degrees in our hexagon. Okay, 8 times 4 is 32, and that means it's 720 degrees in total. But I don't want to know total. I want to know the individual. I've got six vertices here, so let's take our 720 and divide it by 6. No, not sure why I'm writing in red at the moment, but hey, here we go. 6 goes into 7 one time. A 1 is left over, which is 12. 6 goes into 12 two times. So it means that each angle is going to be 120 degrees. What if I wanted to find the degrees of the exterior angles? When I say exterior angles, I'm talking about the angle on the outside of the angle. Okay, so we had before had been doing the ones in here. I'm talking about the one here. And there's going to be one on every vertice, right? There's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. And boom, there's one right there. Okay? How do we find those? Well, it turns out we can still use diagonals to help us. We can still use interior angles. So let's go through that whole process. Let me use blue. So from point A, I can draw one, two diagonals, which gives me how many triangles? One, two, three triangles. Remember, each triangle has degrees of 180. So we're going to do three times 180 degrees. Um, which is 540 degrees, right? 8 times 3 is 24, yeah, 540. Okay, that's for the total amount. Now I'm going to go find the interior angle like we just did. Well, we've got five angles, so we're going to divide 540 by 5 to find how much one of them is, um, which we said is 108 degrees. So let's just kind of draw that for you. Every angle inside here is 180. But you might notice something. This angle that we're trying to find here forms a supplementar, supplementary angle, that's a mouthful, with our interior angle, right? Exterior angles and interior angles are supplemental, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So to find the supplementary angle, my exterior angle, all I have to do is subtract the interior from 180 degrees to find my answer, okay? And that is going to be, I know math here, let's do it, 180 minus 108 is 72. I couldn't do it in my head. 72 degrees is going to be how much each exterior angle is. And if I wanted to go one step further and find out, well, how many, what are the degrees of all of the exterior angles? We know we've got five exterior angles, so we can multiply our 72 times 5. Oh, running out of space here. Oop, there we go. 5 times 2 is 10, so that'd be 360 degrees. For all. So this is for each exterior angle, and this one is for all. All right, I know it's a little messy, so I'm going to give you one more example. Here we go. We're going to find the exterior angles of this hexagon. So first thing we have to do is draw the diagonals. One, two, and three, which gives me how many triangles? One, two, three, four. So we have four triangles. Multiply each by 180 degrees, which is 720 degrees total for the interior. I'm going to write that down so you can see it. Okay, next I want to find out how much is each. So I take my 720 and I divide it by how many vertices I have or how many angles we have. We've got six. And uh, that's going to be 6 into 7 goes 12. 6 and 12 is 2. I'm doing some mental math, y'all. 120 degrees for each interior. But I don't want interior. I want exteriors. Well, 
If the interior is 120 and I want the exterior, I'm gonna uh, subtract it from 180 because they are supplementary. So 180 minus 120 is 60 degrees. So for each one of these, it's gonna be 60 degrees. And if I wanted to find out how many there were in total, I've got six exterior angles, because I have six vertices, and I'm going to multiply my 60 times 6 and get 360 degrees. You probably have noticed the pattern that all exterior angles add up to 360 degrees. Woo! That was a long one. Diagonals, interior angles, and exterior angles. Let's call that a wrap. <laughs> you definitely want to try the practice problems here because you're going to have to work the math out and make sure you can figure out how to do diagonals, figure out how to do interior angles, figure out how to do exterior angles. Here's the good news. I know you can do it. Okay? All right. I'll see you in the practice set. Bye. It's Nicole the Math Lady. Have a good one.